I'm Matthew, this is my wife Amber, and this is uh, Camden, and we are the coaches. So we are the Guy family. I'm Lauren, this is my husband Billy, and these are our children, Trevor and Autumn. Hi, um, I'm Maureen Herbert, and this is my grandson, JJ Herbert. We're the Hillmans, I'm uh, Mikey, this is my wife Katie, our oldest son Gavin, our middle child Kennedy, and our newest addition, Cheney. My name is Alyssa Mitchell. I'm, I'm Mitchell. Harper. This is Harper Camden. and Camden. I am Blaine Summers, and this is my wife Megan, and our three daughters Adeline, Olivia, and Annalie. I'm Melissa. This is Allison. Um, she's going to be two next month. We love how welcoming South Point is. Just come as you are, and we love Pastor Matt's messages, and we've been attending for several years now. I love South Point Church for one, for its diversity and its um, teachings. It's down-to-earth teaching. I like that I can come as I am. I love that Pastor Matt has shared his past, present, future. Um, it, everyone's very welcoming. Um, I've never felt judged or out of place when I come to South Point. We have decided to have Camden dedicated and specifically here at South Point because Matt and I have really grown in our relationship with God because of South Point. And we want to make that commitment in front of this church, in front of our friends and our family, that we are gonna do our best to raise Camden to also have this relationship with God. I know my sister and I grew up in church and then like right out of high school and then into college, I kind of got away from God. And then just recently, probably the last, I don't know, five or six years or something, I've, you know, gone, grown, grown closer to God. So um, I'm glad to be with uh, South Point. I want to pass that on to my children. We are <laughs> dedicating our child because we spent a lot of time in the hospitals making sure we could have children. We were told by doctors we couldn't, and we told them, yes, we can. Uh, God can make anything happen. And we said that if we were allowed to have kids, that <laughs> that we would make sure we give them back to God because he gave them to us. Uh, we want our child dedicated at South Point as a commitment uh, to raising her in this church and as uh, just looking forward to her becoming a part of our church community, to growing in her faith in a church that deliberately looks for next steps for all of us to get connected, to grow closer to God and grow closer to our community. I want them to just start the journey of developing their relationship with God. I was sort of a, a latecomer to it, and um, I've just found them more, especially once I had them, so I just really want them to experience it from an early age. Um, I want to have her dedicated so that she can grow up, um, learn who Christ is, have a relationship, whether it's, you know, spiritual or... Um, mental or however it may be with the Lord, um, mainly because I did and I want her to grow up to be the same or at least go down the same path and then she'll figure out where to go from there once she gets baptized. The one thing that we hope God does in the life of our son is we just hope that he is someone who loves others and treats them all with kindness and treats them all equally and that he follows God's, the footpath that God has laid out for him for his life. I hope JJ knows to turn to Jesus for, you know, any anything that goes on in his life and he knows that, that, that God is the answer and he grows to be a strong, dedicated man of God and it starts with this age. We hope that God uses Cheney to um, touch other people. We hope that she's going to be a good example and that she grows up to follow Christ and that she can assist others in following Christ. She is a giant ball of joy and we just hope that she can uh, spread joy to lots and lots of other people. <laughs> uh, we hope that baby Annalie recognizes that God is always with her. Uh, we all know that life can get hard and in those hard times we hope that through the church uh, that she has that foundation in God and that she knows when life gets hard she can turn to Him and she can turn to the community of believers around Him to help her through that.